Hello class, this is section 3.2 and in this video I just want to go through a few examples of calculating linear dependence and linear independence. Let's first consider this example. Oh, let me write that in green. Is this set of functions 3x x squared x plus 1 squared linearly independent on the interval minus 1 to 1. Oh no, sorry, let me write, rewrite that. That's wrong. Say 1 to 15. Right, so it's interesting here because you can see that 3 and x are clearly not linearly, they're clearly linearly independent. x and x squared are linearly independent. They're not, x squared isn't a constant multiple of x. But we can see that even if some parts of the, some, a smaller set of the functions you are given are linearly independent, it doesn't mean that the full set of functions is going to be linearly independent. So let's take a look at this. So let's write down, oh, let me write that in yellow. So let's write down x plus 1 squared. That just expands out to 2x squared. Oh, sorry. That expands out to uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1. But you can write it down as x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 third of 3. And this means that we can write down our functions like in this relationship. So we have 1 times x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 third times 3 plus minus 1 times x plus 1 squared. And this is going to be equal to 0. So given these constants, these constants aren't all 0, and we are forced to conclude that 3x x squared x plus 1 squared is linearly dependent. Verifying linear dependence is just as simple as finding a equation that relates the functions that you care about. Linear independence is uh, tends can be more complicated, so let's give one example a try. So example two. Is sine x cosine x 2x linearly independent on the interval x positive? This is an open interval. Right, and uh, of course, if we could have did, did the Ron skin here too, but uh, I just show you a more direct way to do it. We can let's use the Ron skin here since it's, it's harder to just do this ad hoc. Okay, we can let's use the Ron skin here. But I'll just clarify again: we could have done the Ron skin for the first problem too, but it was easier not to in that case. So let's write the Ron skin. The Ron skin is going to be sine x cosine x minus sine x cosine x minus sine x minus cosine x 2x to 0. So if you're wondering how I got these equations, so I just took the three functions in the top row, sine x cosine x 2x, and I took the first derivative and then the second derivative. So sine x, the derivative of sine x is cosine x, derivative of cosine x is minus sine x, cosine x, the derivative of cosine x is minus sine x, derivative of minus sine x is minus cosine x, 2x, 2, 0. Oh yeah, this is a determinant. So to take a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, you have to do this. So this is going to be equal to 
So first we take sine x times the determinant of this 4 by 4 minor over here. So we write this as so. Okay. And the next thing we do is we take the minus. So this is plus minus plus. Okay. So one thing to remember is that when you're plus minus plus minus cosine x times the determinant of cosine x minus sine x two zero. Okay, so you take cosine x and the determinant of these two guys, right? That's the second term. And the last term is going to be plus 2x times the determinant of cosine x minus sine x minus sine x minus cosine x. Okay. And this is from 2x here multiplied by this determinant. Right, so this is how you take uh, determinants of large matrices. You just uh, do, make, do this rule. And let's calculate what we get. So sine x equals, uh, so sine x is sine x. This determinant is going to be 0 minus 2, so this is going to be 0 minus 2 times minus cosine x. This is going to be minus cosine x, 0. So 0 minus 2 minus sine x. Okay, the last term is going to be 2x times cosine x minus cosine x minus minus sine x squared. So minus cosine x minus cosine x minus minus sine x squared. Okay, so that's our determinant, and doing the calculation, we find that we have minus 2 sine x cosine x plus 2 cosine x sine x plus 2x minus cosine squared x minus sine squared x. So these two obviously cancel. And this term is just going to be 2x minus cosine, cosine squared x plus sine squared x is 1. So this is going to be minus 1. And this guy is always going to be non-zero for x greater than 0. And we conclude that our three functions are linearly independent. So again, you could have done a run skin for this first case too, but it's just a bit more complicated with four functions, but it's definitely possible. And this is how you use a Ronskin to determine linear dependence.